Hello everyone, my name is Agent Paul of Mobile Task Force Delta 7, codename Bookkeepers, and welcome back to their SCP document review. Now, due to a recent mishap and an SCP going from anomalous to being declassified, I have to scramble and find other similar SCPs, and I have for you one that needs to be archived and sent over to SCP-073, and that is the SCP we'll be reviewing today, which is SCP-018, Level 2 Restriction, Containment Class, Euclid, Disruption Class, Vlam 2, Risk Class, Caution 2, Assigned Site, Kayana Provisional Site 5818, Site Director, M. Margaret Clark, Research Head, C. James Clive, Assigned Task Force, Not Available. Special Containment Procedures Foundation Web Crawler Beta 8 Modern Prometheus is to monitor discussion forums and image boards for phrases associated with SCP-5818 and remove them from discovery. The locus of SCP-5818 related phenomena has been brought by the Foundation and converted to Provisional Site 5818, which will remain open to the public. Several Foundation agents with scores of at least 75 on the Cull Mimetic Resistance Scale have been implanted into the restaurant's internal structure and are to monitor for SCP-5818 events. Each SCP-5818 event is to be recorded and reviewed for any deviations in the established narrative. Following the completion of the event, all participants to are to be amnesticized. Provisional Site 5818 is to remain closed until all remnants of the event are disposed of. Deliberate triggering of an SCP-5818 event for research purposes is prohibited. Description: SCP-5818 is a phenomenon occurring in a Burger King located in Niagara Falls, Ontario. This location bears Frankenstein theming as the restaurant is adjacent to a separate horror-themed tourist attraction. Instructions for triggering an SCP-5818 event sourced from a powerwatch.net in April 2007 are listed below. And here is the code, don't ask, 04 slash 05 slash 07, Thursday, 06 colon 05 colon 24, hashtag 184831. Go to the Frankenstein Burger King in Niagara Falls. Ask for the Frankenstein Burger. Question mark, question mark, question mark, profit. These instructions were disseminated across the discussion board over several weeks but did not receive significant attention. Four SCP-5818 events occurred in the weeks following the original post, alerting the Foundation to the anomaly's presence. When an individual follows the instructions above and asks for a Frankenstein burger, SCP-5818-1 will be produced. No item on the Burger King menu is or has been referred to as a Frankenstein burger. Regardless, employees will not perceive the request as abnormal and will complete the order. SCP-5818-1 from here on, referred to as Dash 1, is a burger topped with two meat patties, bacon, ketchup, and cheese. Dash 1 resembles Burger King's double bacon cheeseburger in appearance and composition. Testing has shown Dash 1 to be otherwise identical to the double bacon cheeseburger in all aspects, sans the anomalous properties that manifest upon initial consumption. When an individual begins consumption of Dash 1, a hallucinatory mimetic phenomenon described as an SCP-5818 event occurs. SCP-5818 events follow a consistent, recurring narrative. All individuals present inside Provisional Site 5818 during an event will be transposed into various archetypes fitting the narrative, which resembles the basic themes, vernacular, and plot of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. For a transcript of SCP-5818 event, refer to Addendum 5818.1. Following the completion of a SCP-5818 event, the individuals were returned to a non-anomalous state of mind, possessing full recall and awareness of the events that had transpired. Research has proven that this phenomenon is limited to the Burger King location in Niagara Falls, Ontario. And here we have Addendum 5818.1, the Narrative Transcript. The following account of an SCP-5818 event was transcribed by a Foundation agent with noted mimetic resistance. This transcript is specifically derived from the 31st recorded SCP-5818 event, which occurred on June 29, 2008. Begin log. A customer bites into Dash 1. Seconds later, the customer screams and drops the burger on the table in front of them. The customer stands atop a chair and calls the restaurant to attention. What foul countenance! Behold, set your eyes on this wretched abnormality whose visage will torment me till my reunification with the father. Behold and remain weary. The customer gestures to Dash 1. 
Bystanding customers begin to crowd the table and view Dash One, expressing cries of shock and distress. A customer faints. Such a natural hue, oh, to be belabored with a fiendish existence as this, composed from both the slaughterhouse and the learning room, and an abhorrent creation. Am I to consume this vile concoction of pots as I am my brother's cow or a mother's milk? Is our sustenance derived from the land or from the laboratory? Customers begin to perceive Dash One as capable of speech. Dialogue is audible to those involved in a Dash One event, and has remained consistent across accounts. Did I request thee, Maker, from my meat to mold me burger? Did I solicit thee from the kitchen to promote me? A abridged quote from John Milton's Paradise Lost. Horror, horror, it speaks as if it were man, but it is burger. It knows not the, the existential diatribe it spews from its chemically enhanced mouth. Tell us, why hath you begat this wretch? The crowd of bystanders begin to approach the customer who removes themselves from the chair and begins walking backwards. Hear me. It was not an abortion of my creation. Please, I beg you, look to Frankenstein who wrought this beast with his own hands in his occult kitchen sanctum. The customer gestures to the register. The cook who prepared Dash One walks out of the kitchen. Customers perceive the cook as harboring lacerations and stitches across their face and body. Their skin is perceived as an unnatural green coloration and as a whole resembles a typical depiction of the Frankenstein's monster character. My accursed forefather, you who have given me life and just misplaced hope gave me witness to beauty and creation while placing me in this devilishly tasty form. Do you not feel remorse for casting me into a world that wishes to see me consumed? I fear no retribution, fallen angel. As the titans created man, I have created Burger. This is my purpose. Look, your culprit. Impose your punishment and affix him to Cochesis, where his liver can be pecked, a fitting punishment for a man who tests God. The bystanders approach the cook and begin to physically restrain him. I pursued knowledge, my burden is light, like so many before me. Do what you will, I will not show cowardice. How miserable is this cosmetable juicy body? To be a more than filthy meat, Satan revels in companionship while I sit in silence and agony. Bystanders force the cook into the kitchen where they begin to tear the cook's limbs from their body. The limbs are then thrown into a broiler oven. The frenzy continues until the cook's body is small enough to fit in the broiler. Frankenstein brought fate upon himself. Tragedy or purification? The question is asked, but there is no truth. The oven is powered on and the cook's body burns. The bystanders watch and revel in the cook's death. Away from the kitchen, Dash One continue its lament. If thou desired nurture over nutrition, perhaps I would not live in misery. Farewell, vengeful father. Farewell, I shall depart to the coldest region of this wicked world where I shall lay. Dash One disappears. End log. Researchers note, following the event, all witnesses and participants were amnesticized due to the loss of life involved in 5818 events and noted lack of variation between them. Further research of the phenomenon, though deliberate trigger of an event, has been discontinued. The present location of Dash 1 instances is unknown. Dr. Clive, June 29th, 2008. And once again, the streak of places I will not go is added to. Well, everyone, that's it for this week's document review. Thank you so much for listening or watching, and my name is Agent Paul of MTF Delta 7, and I will see you next week with another document review. Bye.